welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is melanie if you'd like to get to know me a little better all my social media links will be linked down below in the description bar so be sure to check that out if you're interested in any kind of way today i'm popping in to talk about my july tbr but before i jump into that video completely i just want to remind you that down below in the description bar as well there will be links to a couple of black lives matter resources this is still an ongoing issue and it's still something important and should still be talked about because even though there's been some slight changes, some new laws put in place, it doesn't mean that the system has been abolished. So I highly recommend that you check out the Black Lives Matter resource, which has petitions and places to donate, as well as some resources where you can educate yourself. I've also linked down below the Black Isle Buddy Read, which was created by Books of Shea, who will also be linked down below if you're interested in participating and educating yourself a bit more on the topic, in case you haven't been around. Before we start spinning the wheel, I just want to remind you of what books I read in June. I'll have that TBR video linked up in the info card for you to check out as well if you're interested in seeing what prompts went where. The books I had to read in June were this lovely stack over here and obviously I actually had to read an extra book, got an extra spin because the wheel landed on pink three times so I had no choice. I hate to say this because I really do but out of all of these books, which I think is nine books, I have only read these two which is disappointing to say the least. I do think that I will be able to get Get to Queen of Shadows before the end of the month, maybe not finish it, but at least start it. But that means that I have like six other books which I have not picked up because it was read everything else besides the TBR month. Because of that reason, and I'm giving myself this leeway because I also had exams going on. I had exams throughout pretty much the entire month. I had one every single week. I still have one coming up this week. I figured, you know what, I'm gonna give myself this little bit of leeway just because I like to be kind to myself when I'm not having a good month. This will not happen every single month. It was, it was like a special situation in June. What I've done is I've decided that I'm gonna spin the wheel. I'm gonna try and fit prompts to these books. Obviously, the books that are wearing my June TBR, they are not gonna be the only ones that I plan on reading this month. I do plan on taking over my TBR. However, that being said, I also have a couple of blog tours coming up in July because July is the month of blog tours for me, apparently. So the books that I also would need to read in July, which I'm gonna list for you now. I also have their Goodreads link down below if you're intrigued. First one is The Lost City by Amanda Hawking. This is one of my most anticipated releases for the year. I love Amanda Hawking. I'm so excited that she is diving back into the world of the troll. I believe we are now reading about the Amtas in this one, so I'm so excited for this. It's like we're definitely going through the different troll races. The other one is The Peasant Dream by Melanie Dickinson. This is one that I have for a blog tour, but I think the blog tour company that was hosting this is absolving, so like they're they no longer doing the tours, and I believe that is now optional. I'm gonna try and stick to the stage just so I can get it done and dusted. I was given this to review, so that's the plan. Another one is a blog tour that I'm actually doing through the publishing house, and that is Wednesday Books, and the book is Mayhem by Estelle Lore. This, as I said, is a blog tour that I'm doing directly with the publishing house, which I'm excited for. I really love Wednesday books. They are so incredible and they are way too kind to me, so I'm excited to read this. Then the next book is The Do-Over by Jennifer Honey Bourne. This is another book that was also for a blog tour for the blog tour company that is absolving itself right now. Once again, we try and stick to the date for this one. We then have the next three books, which are books that I got to review, which I didn't get to do in June, which was the plan, but Things did not go according to plan there. And the first one is The Gifts of Life by Olive Smoa. I don't know how you say it. It's very good. <laughs> uh, linguistics, but <laughs> can't linguistic. But I'm not entirely sure what this one is about, but it sounded interesting. And I think it's actually on the shorter side of things. So it makes me a bit more excited. The next one is Storm's Breath by J.R. Ford. This is another one which I was supposed to read in June, but didn't get a chance to. So I'm hoping to squeeze it in this month. And then the last book is a book that I got from Jonathan Will Publishers as an ebook. And I'm so excited because this sounded so good. I read the synopsis and I was like, mm, this is not going to be something that I'm going to read. Turns out I could not get it out of my brain, so I requested it. And the book is How Much of These Heels is Gold by C. Pan Zhang. This is, I think, set during the gold the gold rush. We have all of those exciting things, and obviously also the books that come from June. Just a quick reminder that this is not an original idea. This TBR game was originally created by Cody from Cody's Book Corner. I'll have her videos and her channel linked down below in the description bar. So just a reminder that this is not an original idea. So I'm gonna spin the wheel. The wheel obviously ended last month on rep, and I'm gonna take that off and change it out for a different prompt. The prompt replacing rep is new release, which is always great because you know I have a couple of new releases right here. Just a quick reminder that I do eight spins, and I don't know why. I had to check my hand for that because that was so easy. Obviously, once again, if the wheel lands on the same color three times, I would have to add an extra spin to my TBR, which I don't know if I can, I can um do that because I'm sitting with about 14 books already. So fun times. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. So the prompt 
landed on fantasy, which makes me so freaking happy. So the book that I'm going to read for the prompt of fantasy is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Once again, I didn't get to it during June because reasons, but I'm really excited to jump into this. I'm still really, really looking forward to rereading this book. I don't remember a lot because a lot happened and it's been a couple of years, but I'm excited because honestly, some people have been loving Brandon Sanderson at the moment. Every every single booktuber that I'm watching is like, Brandon Sanderson, I'm reading Oathbringer or I'm reading other ones in the series, like The Wall of Ascension and so on. And so I'm like, I just want to reread this and get going with it. That is the plan. I'm really hoping I can get to it this month. I do have a break coming up after the, my current exam up until the 13th of July. So I'm crossing my fingers that I actually utilize the time and not just try and rank up in Valorant. We're now going to take off the prompt of fantasy and replace it with something else. The prompt replacing fantasy is graveyard. So graveyard is something that I haven't utilized at the moment, but there are a couple of books that I do need to get to. So if the wheel lands on this, which is Graveyard, I will then pick a book that is from a stack of books that I'm technically looking at getting rid of, but I haven't been entirely sure if I should at the moment. So I'll pick one of those, should it come up. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Okay, so the problem that's come up is ARC, which is obviously advanced reader's copy. And this means that I have to read a book that I have gotten, obviously, an advanced reader copy of. And for this, I'm actually gonna choose The Lost City by Amanda Hawking. I received an ARC of this. Thanks to Wednesday Book for like helping a girl out when I asked for this. I'm so excited for this, as I mentioned earlier on. So I'm happy that I'm able to squeeze this in and it's like, I must read it now. I'm pure happiness. Let's go ahead and take off ARC and replace it with something new. The prompt replacing ARC is most recently acquired. So my most recent acquired is Incendiary, which was in the Fairy Loot box for April. So should this come up, I will then pick that one, which would be great because I already have another Zoraya Cordova book on my TBR. So it would be cool to read two of her books and see how they differ because I know that Labyrinth Lost is one of her oldest books and obviously Incendiary is her newest book so far. Okay, so far so good. We are now on our third spin. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel. wheel landed on ugly cover which you know is quite what is the word i'm looking for um personal based on people's opinions so for this i don't necessarily think this is an ugly cover so don't come for me but this is probably one of my least favorite covers of this of this book and the book that i'm choosing for this is more happy than not which was the mother's pick in last month's thing i like this cover like don't get me wrong i think it's really nice except i think i like the american cover a bit more i get confused with adam silvera's covers because they're all the same vibes i like this one above the american cover but it has an ugly cover or a cover that i don't like so i'm gonna pick this for this anyways that's the prompt i'm going for i'm now going to take off ugly cover and replace it with a different prompt the prompt replacing ugly cover is mood read which basically gives me the opportunity to read whatever book i want when i want during the month okay so far we've had one of everything so far in terms of we had one pink one blue and one yellow so now i'm going to spin the wheel once more itself will spin The prompt for this is new release and I, I'm going to choose one of the books that are obviously on my like ebook list slash blog tour list and for this I'm going to choose Mayhem by Estelle Lore. I think this will be a really, it works for the prompt. I don't know what I'm going for here but that's the book that I'm going to choose for this prompt because I think it only comes out later on in this month but we make do with what we have folks. We make do with what we have. <laughs> I'm now gonna go ahead and replace new release with something else. The prompt replacing new release is five star prediction. I obviously have a video for this already up on my channel. So I have that linked up in the info cards for you to check out or down below in the description bar, depending on where I have space. And you can check that out. So should this come up, I'll go to that video and choose one of the box on that list. We are now in our fifth spin. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel. I feel like fate really wants me to read a book off of there so i'm gonna go ahead and choose the following book because i believe it is on that video and that is the fever king by victoria lee if it's not on the video then i do predict this will be a five star i think this is going to be a really really great book and i really want to read it i don't know why i haven't picked it up yet so this is going to be my chance to do so let's go ahead and replace five star prediction with something new the prompt replacing five star prediction is audiobook i have a ton of audiobooks that i need to listen to so this will really work for me because if this is chosen of course 
then I can listen to an audiobook whilst I'm finally getting back to playing Animal Crossing. So that it will work out for me basically. This is the second time that the wheel has landed on dark pink. So should it land on dark pink once again, I will have no choice but to add an extra spin. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and cross our fingers if we don't get an extra one. <laughs> You know what, I'll take that spin back because it landed on Mood Read and obviously as I mentioned earlier that I will leave this open up until I think that I've chosen a book that could work for it. So definitely keep your eye out for my vlogs which I post every single Monday so definitely keep your eye out for that. Let's go ahead and take off Mood Read and replace it with something new. The prompt replacing Mood Read is Low Expectations. This also came up last month and obviously this is a book that I don't really know too much about and therefore don't really have any thoughts and opinions on them besides eh. This last month I had Caravelle so obviously I would choose that again should this come up. However, should this come up again, should Light Pink be spun onto again, then I will have to also add an extra spin to my TBR. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. So the prompt landed on most recently acquired and for this obviously as I mentioned earlier this would fit Incendiary by Zoreda Cordova. This book apparently centers around themes of memory and everything so I'm excited for this. This is obviously the gorgeous fairy loot edition. Let's go ahead and replace most recently acquired with something new. The prompt replacing most recently acquired is Megali. So Megali is obviously a well-known site for book reviewers. You can request a ton of ebooks off of there and I have a shit ton of books on my Nagali list. So should this come up, which hopefully it doesn't, because once again, if it does, I'll have to add an extra spin. I'll even do like a random number generator and just like generate to see which one, because there are so many that I might as well just do it that way. But once again, should this come up, should light yellow come up once more, I will have no choice but to add an extra spin to my wheel. So let's hopefully not do that. I'm just going ahead and put this on the wheel and get going. We are now on our eighth and last spin, crossing our fingers that we do not land on any of the doubles that we've had thus far. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Unfortunately, it seems like this is the second month in a row where I'll have to add an extra spin because the wheel landed on dark pink, which is audiobook. For this, I have so many options. I'm not entirely sure which one I will pick at the moment. I don't know which one I'm going to pick, but the one that I will pick, I'll pop a image over here because I really have to look at them. I don't really know. I know there's a lot of books surrounding white supremacy and basically talking about the topics that are being spoken about right now during the Black Lives Matter movement. So I might pick one of those. In fact, I'll probably pick one of those just because it is a step forward in educating myself on the matters at hand. So I think I might pick one of those. I think one of them is me and white supremacy. I think that's one of the ones that I have. So I'll probably pick that one. I'll, I'll put the cover over here for you to check out. Let's go ahead and take off your book and replace it with a different prompt and do our next spin. The prompt replacing audiobook is Instagram recommends, which basically means that I'm going to go onto my Instagram. I'm going to randomly scroll up and down and once it lands on a picture, whatever book that is, and if I have it, that's a disclaimer, I will then read it. If I don't have it, then I'll just keep doing the process until basically it is done. Obviously now because we've landed on dark playing three times and this is going to be the extra spin, we have like reset that little portion. Let's go ahead and put this on and spin the wheel for hopefully the last time this video. that has come up is travel which works for me because the book that i'm going to be choosing is aurora rising by amy kaufman and jay christoph there's a ton of traveling that happens in this book obviously it is a space opera have you ever read a space sci-fi book where there isn't some traveling in a spaceship so i'm excited to jump into this i was really excited to jump into it in june obviously didn't get to it but i'm excited to get into this because the reactions that people are having to aurora burning have just has just got me like sitting on the edge of my seat going, oh my goodness, I want to read it. But I really want to reread Aurora Rising before I get to it. And yeah, this is now the perfect opportunity to do so. Obviously, as I said earlier on, I will be reading the books that I didn't pick during this thing. So the ebooks that I mentioned earlier on in the video, I'll be reading those as well as these two, when, where, how, who knows. But I will, I'm still planning on getting to these two as well, just because I do want to kind of complete the months. We'll see how everything goes because once again, I have nine books to read. I'm currently going to be in the middle of one, but I'm going to start another one. So like things are going to be crazy, but I'm hoping that with that two week break that I have, I will have the opportunity to actually get some, some, a lot, a lot of reading done. So these are the physical books that I plan on reading this month. I'm so excited actually, because I feel like now 
is like the appropriate time to read all these heavy fantasy books. So thank you so very much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my face, please go ahead and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.